tonight. We played together tonight, and that was like the most impressive thing. The post-Teddy era got off without a hitch for the Winnipeg Sea Bears Wednesday night as the club put all the distractions of the past couple weeks behind them to deliver a thrilling come-from-behind victory for the hometown crowd. Five on the clock. In front to Justin Wright Foreman. Top side for the win. Baker is good. Get out the Cheese mama. Onions, baby onions. Just you put positive energy into something, you get rewarded. And we were rewarded in a very great way for our teamwork, for our focus. Um, you know, and I'm just thankful here in Winnipeg, the banks are open late at night. Following a blazing first quarter in which they displayed the level of teamwork and defense that head coach Mike Taylor had long been preaching for, old habits would rear their ugly heads. As Winnipeg entered target time trailing Vancouver by 12, needing to outscore the Bandits 21-8 to to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. And that is exactly what they did, treating the 8,000 in attendance to one of the most improbable wins they'll ever see, capped off by Justin Wright Foreman's game high 32 points. You know, my teammates had great confidence in me, the coaching staff, everybody in the building had confidence in me, and my job was just to let it fly. I didn't know it was going to hit the backboard, but I mean, you know? <laughs> but we got to win, and that's, that's the most important part. With the departure of Allen still top of mind and the league's best team in the building, Coach Taylor was proud of how his team stuck together in the process, perhaps showing what this edition of the Sea Bears is truly capable of. To knock off the, the hottest team in the league uh, with, after we've been struggling and, and make a strong organizational decision, uh, I'm really, really proud of, proud of our team. The Sea Bears will now play host to Wright Foreman's former Saskatchewan Rattlers on Saturday. In Winnipeg, Kurt Black, City News.